And welcome. Uh, for the people who don't know who I am, my name is Joe Parra, I'm a full-time, co full-time coach at EPC. Uh, this week I'm going to be doing the PE lessons that we're going to be doing at home. So this week what we're going to be working on is we're going to do a little bit of dodgeball. So the equipment that you're going to need is you're going to need five balls, it could be tennis balls, it could be maybe things that are a little bit bigger. I've got socks that I've rolled up into little balls. You're also going to need maybe a few empty cans of bottles or a few um, empty deodorant cans that you don't use anymore. And also if you have an empty basket that you can use just like this that we're gonna be using to aim in later on. So if you get all of that together now, Okay, now that we've got everything together, so I'm just gonna explain what we're gonna be doing today. So first off, we'll just be working on simple throwing and catching skills, okay? Then we're gonna move on to maybe aiming at something, maybe throwing it a little bit harder and a little bit further just to test our accuracy a bit. And then we're gonna be moving into a little bit of a game at the end, okay? So just to start off with, okay, very simple, both hands, okay, we're just gonna throw the ball up in the air and we are gonna catch it, okay? Making sure we're clapping our hands together catching that ball properly okay very important in dodgeball maybe if you're trying to get someone out in the game okay so we're just going to do 10 of these Okay, fantastic. Now we're going to be working only on one hand each. So we're going to go from our right hand to our left hand, okay? So we're going to go 10 again. Make sure we're looking at the ball the whole time. Okay, moving on to our left hand, okay? Then let's keep hold of it and looking at it the whole time. Make sure we don't drop it. Okay, now we're going to be moving it on from working from just one hand, we're going to be using both our hands, okay, we're going to throw it from one hand to the other, okay, we're going to try and do this 20 times, we're trying to do 10 on each hand, okay, we'll go, remember keep your eyes on the ball at all times, we don't want to drop that ball, okay. Fantastic, okay, now we're gonna be making it even harder, all right? I need us to have a ball in either hand. We could be throwing both of these balls at the same time. Really important, like I say, keep your eyes on the ball at all time, okay? Really bring that ball in with your hand. So we're gonna go, ready, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Okay, and if you want to make it harder at any point, maybe throw one a little bit lower and one a little bit higher. Keep switching that around, or if you want to throw them both higher, and try and catch them. Remember, keeping your eyes on the ball, you can do this with any of the ones we're doing. Okay, so what we're going to be moving on to now is we're going to be moving on to the second part of our lesson, all right? This is where we're going to be working on maybe throwing it a little bit faster and a little bit further with a little bit more accuracy, accuracy okay? So what I've got in front of me is I've got two footstools in front of me, maybe about five feet away, and I've got three empty cans of deodorant and two empty bottles, okay? Make sure when we're doing this, there's nothing behind you that can break anything. I've had to move a few pictures from the side, all right? So make sure you've got, you have it as far away as you want, you can have it as close as you want, okay? I'm not doing mine too far. You can do this outside, you can do this inside, it's completely up to you, okay? So all I'm gonna try and do, I've got five, five balls here, I've got five objects I'm gonna try and knock over. For every one I knock over, I get one point. Because they're a little bit closer, I'm gonna be doing underarm to start off with, all right? So you've got five shots, let's see how many points we can get. One, two, oh, nearly, oh, nearly again. Oh, okay, there you go. So I've had my guys. I've managed to get two points out of five, okay? 
Okay, so once you go, go doing it underarm, this time what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and do it overarm. Okay, so remember we're going to be throwing it a little bit quicker this time. Let's give it a go. Let's see how many points we can get. So I managed to get three points out of five, okay? Let's see how many you guys can do. Okay, so once you give it a go, having a, a go of trying to hit the smaller objects, what we're gonna be moving on to now is we're gonna try and make the object, the object a little bit bigger, so maybe a little bit easier to hit, okay? You can work, we're gonna be working first off with our underarm, okay? We're gonna try and throw it, but this time we're gonna try and throw it into the basket. So the basket is a much bigger object for me to try and hit, but I have moved it a little bit further back. So I'd say maybe it's about eight, nine feet away from me now, okay? So if, remember the first time we're gonna be using only our underarm, we'll be looking where we're aiming, we're gonna release, okay? We're gonna try it, see how many points we can get. One point there, one point, two point. There we go, okay? So Okay, now that you've given underarm a couple of tries, this time we're gonna try and do it overarm, okay? Exactly the same as last time. This time can we try and throw it a little bit faster, all right? I will give it to you that if it goes inside of the basket but then bounces out, I don't mind that, okay? I'll still give you that point, so we're gonna try and throw it a little bit faster, okay? Because imagine we're playing dodgeball, people running away quickly, we need to throw the ball nice and quick. So we're gonna try this time, all right? Let's go a bit faster. One, two, three, Oh, nearly. And five, okay, there we go. So I got four out of five, okay. One more little challenge that we're gonna be doing with our throwing, okay, is this time we're gonna turn the basket upright to how it normally should be. All we're gonna be doing, you can do underarm or overarm. I'll give you the option when you're doing this one, whatever you feel comfortable with. You're gonna try and throw it into the basket. Same as last time, every single time you get one in, you get yourself one point, okay. So we've got five tries, to see how we go. There we go, okay, five out of five. Let's see if anyone can do that, okay? Okay, and now we're gonna be moving on to the final activity of the day, okay, which will probably be the best one. We're gonna be moving into a game, okay? Now we're gonna be doing this with only one other person, okay, that's how the game works. One person will have all five balls. All that person's got to try and do, you're going to stand maybe 10 feet away from each other. You're going to try and throw each ball. You're going to try and hit the person across from you, all right? I'm going to be doing this with my brother. Now, very important when we're doing this, no headshots allowed. The only rules we're going to have is it has to be from the waist to your feet, okay? So we're not going to be having any of the upper body. Otherwise, it does not count. Only if it hits from your waist down to your feet. Remember, you've got a little bit of room and you've got nothing behind you, okay? You don't want to break anything or you especially don't want to throw it at anyone else. So be really, really careful when we're doing this one, all right? So me and my brother are going to demonstrate this now. Okay, are you ready? Oh, get off, man. Oh, I'm going to move into that. Okay, my turn. Let's see how we get on. Ready? <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, and they are the demonstrations, all right? So remember the key things to look out for when we're playing that is that we're doing an overarm and we're also working on our underarm when we're doing that. Please be careful, there's nothing behind you. Make sure your parents or guardians say that it's okay for you to play that game, all right? But it is a really fun game to play. You can do it as many times as you want. See how many points you can get. But also, this is the end of the video. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. My name's Joe, thank you very much.